What's going on? So I was playing with my Markdown document yesterday. Um, I made a video about how I was working with LaTeX and our Markdown to record some notes about this Viking excavation document. Um, and then I wanted to actually grab the pictures of like these like leather shoes or just whatever like pictures of the actual leather work I could find. And I wanted to insert them into my um, uh, document here because I wanted to actually be able to see um, when I try to recreate these pieces of leather work what they actually look like <clears throat> because I actually own a leather working business on the side that I um, kind of do for fun as a hobby and also um, you know a little extra cash but um, I make a lot of my own leather gear for uh, renaissance fairs and um, historical reenactments so I actually wanted the pictures of this stuff so I could actually see um, what I'm what I'm going to be making it to look like. So putting a picture into a markdown document can go one of two ways. Um, if it's just an ordinary markdown document, you can do you know the square brackets and the parentheses and you can link you know uh, the alternative text, you know exclamation point brackets, they can be empty or you can have alt text and then in the parentheses you put the file path. Um, this doesn't work for me all the time in our markdown. I'm not sure if it's just me or if I'm just screwing it up. But for our markdown specifically, I prefer to just use the knitter include graphics function. Um, in which case, all I do is I just have a, an R code chunk and then I can put in the knitter uh, function and the file path of the image. And then because it's in a R code chunk in our markdown, I actually have all of these like options like fig align center. So I can actually center the, uh, the picture. I can resize it this way. Um, there's a lot more options than just inserting an image like in Markdown. But the point of the video is that this is a lot to type out right here for a single image of shoes. Like this is three lines, you got some grave symbols, bracket, uh, braces, just stuff going on. And that's just a lot of stuff to type for every picture. Now, what I did is I was modifying my VimRC to add some shortcuts for uh, specifically um, our markdown documents. Because these code chunks in this operation, things working this way with these R code chunks would not work in a markdown document. It would just show R code. And with all this extra stuff in here, like the braces, it wouldn't work like you would expect it to. So um, I was modifying my VimRC, these cats, I swear. Every time I'm making a video, these cats are trying to get into shit. Um, I was modifying my VimRC. And uh, I added a couple um, commands for, or shortcuts for what I wanted it to do. So for R Markdown and RM, or in, yeah, R Markdown documents, <coughs> in insert mode, I remap uh, the leader key, which for me is comma. So I type comma pick, like for picture, and it will insert um, the, all that text, and then it will keep me at, um, it'll put me at insert mode, I think, at, um, some line, 2K, 2K, it's 2 up, end of the line, insert, huh, oh, that lets me, yeah, so this little option right here will actually let me, um, go to, in, uh, at the beginning of the braces and put in the picture options like the fig width, uh, or fig align. And then <clears throat> I have the little leader symbol, not leader, the um, space symbol thing here that Luke uses for, you know, when you press leader, leader, or in my case, comma, comma, and it jumps to the next iteration of that in the document. But let's show you what it, this actually looks like when I try to, to use it. So if I'm going to go into my document here, I'm going to do comma PIC, comma pick for picture. It puts in all that stuff, and I can type, you know, fig dot align equals center, <clears throat> I can do comma comma and that will take me to this space character right there. Uh, there we go. And then I can do, um, it's already in double quotes, so I can just do relative directory, the image directory, 01 viking shoes dot png. All right, I can save it, I can compile it. <clears throat> 
And then I can open it. We should have two of them now. And we do. So that is what I changed in my VimRC to add um, images easier because I don't want to just use the markdown image links. I want to actually use images this way. And it also gives me more, a little more control over the options with um, you know, image options, sizing, uh, alignment, etc. So that's what I did. And I am liking using that so far. <clears throat> I think I have the exact same type of shortcut at work as well when I'm adding images to my reports. So VimRC, I need to go through that thing. I need to go through that VimRC. And um, I, since I'm not using LaTeX, I removed all the LaTeX shortcuts. But I need to change Markdown, HTML, add, add, I need to customize my own shortcuts for all of my own types of code documents. So that is what I need to do. And maybe even look into doing um, more of them for Bibber because the bibliography ones, um, there's only three that are supported on here right now. And that's um, article, book, and in collection. So if I want to get some more of these, <clears throat> I need to go and uh, modify them. I already put ISBN in here for book because I wanted it. Um, so I had to modify this one a little bit, but yeah. Is this supposed to be? Oh, it is enter. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to be just CR for carriage return. Yeah, I need to poke around with my, my VimRC, but I digress. Picture inserts, it works. Our markdown is best. Our markdown is life. That's all. Bye.